Today I'm going to show you how to finish with True Oil. True Oil is a real easy finishing product. You can buy it at Walmart, Amazon, wherever. It's really readily available. That's why I like using it. You need to prep your surface first. Usually I sand down to 320 or 600 or some real high high grit. Usually you want to go over 220 when you're sanding. This is a Clara Walnut Burl top that I've sanded down to 600. I've cleaned out all the little pieces here that had some extra dust laid in it. Sometimes you can take naphtha and wipe down the top or a trick when you're finishing burls is you can leave some of that stuff on what happens is it helps fills the grain as it hardens. So what I'm going to do is I've got my two squares this is just an old t-shirt that's been washed a bunch of times there's no fuzz left get my product and just start in one of the corners spray it on Lay it on. And just rub it in. The first coat with true oil is, is going to smell the worst. That's why I'm doing this outside. As it gases out, it has a real, real uh, strong smell. So I always do the first coat outside. And then as I do subsequent coats, the, the, the gas smell isn't all that bad. So you're just going to work in the true oil and just keep going over the spots that you've been rubbing in. You already see how beautiful this top is. You really want to go pretty thick on this first coat here it's really going to soak in and seal the, the pores pretty good. Okay, I just want to make sure I get the crevices, get some of the sides, and just push all of this stuff around. Notice I've got my gloves on. True oil, you really don't need gloves, uh, but I like wearing them. It does get sticky after a while. That's when you usually know it's time to uh, wipe off and leave it. And you're just going to keep going back and forth and rubbing it in. Now I'm going to have a little bit of excess on here, maybe a little bit too much, which is fine. Starting to get a little bit slower as I rub it in here. I can tell it's pretty well saturated. Make sure I get that crevice. Now I can start to feel it gets a little bit thicker as you're rubbing it in, just slightly. So what you're going to do is when you start to feel it get thicker, you're going to get a towel or another rag and you're going to wipe it down. Just want to make sure I get all my corners here. So I was going to use this for a guitar top, but this piece was so pretty that I decided to make a just a little mount on the back. I'm just going to hang this in the wall in the basement. It's such a really neat piece of wood. It's got some unbelievable figure in it. But this is exactly how I would finish a guitar top. 
only difference would be on the sides where you got end grained and I'll show you a trick once I bring this back downstairs on uh, end grain. So now the, the piece is definitely getting a lot thicker. It's time to grab a clean towel and wipe it up. I would normally recommend a rag, but since I'm outside, I just grab some paper towels. And you're just going to essentially polish off any of the excess that's sitting on the piece. You can already see how beautiful this piece of wood is. If you use a paper towel, you'll get a little bit of fuzzies. You just wipe off right there on the side. Now I've wiped off pretty much all the excess that's on the sides and on the on the top here. I'm just going to let it sit now outside here for about probably 24 hours. Maybe I'll bring this into the garage. But what's really key about the first layer of true oil is that you let it sit for 24 hours. That way it hardens enough that you just don't keep adding layers and layers onto this where you, it just continually sucks up the true oil. So you put the first coat on, real thick, you let it soak in as you're rubbing it through, and then as you feel it gets a little bit thicker, you go ahead and you wipe it off and you just leave it like this. Let this dry for 24 hours, and we'll come back tomorrow, and we'll work on finish working on this in the basement. So now we're 24 hours later, and I brought this piece inside, and it's got some really good finish on it already. There's only a couple spots that have a little bit of dryness or spalt that need a little bit more soaking in. There's some pieces here, I'm not sure if you can tell in the light, there's some pieces on the edge. And so when you apply this second coat, you know, you don't go as thick as the first coat because it's already sealed in to some points. Same process as before, you get your cloth, you get your true oil, you're going to spray some of it on again. This time that's probably all I need for the whole piece. And you're just going to rub it in. And the pieces that are already dry, you can see already got a high build. And where it needs some more soaking in, it soaks in pretty well. Just a little bit more right there. And that's pretty much it for the second coat. I'm just going to rub it in. This time you don't have to wipe it, you just have to continue to rub it in. But you don't need to wipe anything off because you're not going to have anything that really needs to be wiped off. You don't have any build. And you just want to rub this in as best as you can. All right now for the third coat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some steel wool and just make sure I rub it around and get the piece nice and scuffed up to make sure I got no high spots on any of the finish. And just rub it here. <clears throat> it's going to leave the finish essentially cloudy. I'm going to go over all the pieces here. And now the piece looks a little bit hazy, which is what I'm looking for. You don't want to press too hard because you don't want to leave any scratches. We just want to make sure the piece is nice and cloudy across the board. So when you're done, make sure you get all the pieces of steel wool out. Now what I'll do now is put a third coat on 
And this is one's going to get really, really smooth. Alright, now for the third coat, again, make sure you've got a clean square. You get your true oil. And again, you're going to put a light coat on across the piece. And now you're going to get a nice build. So again, you're just rubbing it in. Make sure you get across all the corners. And for these last coats, you don't really need a whole lot of true oil because like I said before, it's already soaked in. Now you're just adding a build coat. All right, now we're gonna do our fourth coat. And make sure you're always using a new little paper towel each time you do this because they get really hard after you let them sit for a while. So this is the fourth coat. I've got an incredible sheen on the piece of wood now. I'm gonna do one last coat because I've got a couple little spots down here that need some more true oil. So I'm gonna do one last final coat now what I'll do is I'll let it sit for a couple days and then I'll take it to the buffer. What's nice about when you go really high in sanding grit is you have less work to do on the piece of wood. So again I'm going to just put a little bit less this time on the piece of wood and again you're just rubbing it in. When I get to the very last bit of wiping, when I know it's pretty much in, I do some really big strokes and really light strokes to make sure I don't get any nice uh, fine lines in the wood. So what I'll do is I'll find a spot, and I'll do some real light wipes, and that's it. Now I'll let this sit for a couple days, make sure it's really nice and dry, and I'll take it to my buffer. Like I said before, is when you're doing a guitar then, you're going to run into end grain. And end grain, you're always going to need to do more coats on the sides than on the top. So if you do four coats here, you'll most likely be doing eight coats here. So this one's got two coats already on it. And you can see it's not building properly because of the different figure in the wood. It's running all different types of ways. And also on the sides, it's not building so well. So what I'm going to do on a guitar is I'll probably do you know three or four coats full across the whole body and then I'll do a couple more coats individually on the sides and then I'll show you one more trick after I get this a little bit further along where then you do some wet sanding on the sides with the end grain to help it really build. So like I was saying before when you don't get the true oil to sit very good on the guitar what you need to do is you need to wet sand what I like to do is get some waterproof sandpaper, either 320 or 400, get into some squares, and then take some boiled linseed oil and sand with that. It's real simple. All you do is take a little bit, make sure you, you get the surface nice and saturated, and what you're going to do is you're just going to sand. And what this does is it knocks down any of the little things that are sticking up where it's not smooth and you're going to get a really smooth surface. What's also nice about this is, is it what you're sanding then goes into the parts that aren't filled in all that great. So all those little particles are going into pieces where it's not that smooth so you're going to end up with a really nice smooth surface. This is really useful on the end grain versus on the top. So I'm going to do the top first here. So that's the top, and what I'm going to do is just take some of this excess, wipe it off to the sides here, and then go over the sides. 
And this is really helpful for the end grain because the end grain is all open grain. And it'll help really fill in all the spots where the true oil did not sit. You don't have to sand really hard, you just have to, you know, go over it in a couple spots, back and forth. So when you're done, what you do is you get your towel and you just wipe off all the boiled linseed oil. Let you, dry, you let it dry and you can add another layer of true oil after that. Usually I'll let it dry for, again another 24, 48 hours. See and there you go. All the linseed oil has been wiped off. It feels really smooth on the sides, smooth on the back. There's nothing really catching your hand. So I'll let this dry, like I said, for 48 hours and come back and put a couple more coats of true oil. And I won't sand again, but this just gets the coat nice and level and perfect. So here's this piece of wood now. It's all dry. What I'm gonna do is then now take this to my buffer Put a little compound on it and get it really high polish. So here we go, this is after a polish with a fine compound. You can see it's got an awesome mirror look. All I gotta do is just get a cloth and wipe off some of the fibers from the buffing. And I've got perfect top. Looks like it was lacquered, but this is actually true oil. So those, those are my steps for finishing in true oil. I love it, I use it all the time. and. Uh, this is how I get the best results.